Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I want to give you guys a little bit of an update on my dairy-free journey. So if you guys remember, a couple of months back, I did a video where I was going to be completely cutting off dairy. And that was a few months ago. Fast forward to now, I have failed a few times. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have had cheese. I have had chocolate. It's so hard, you guys. For the most part, I have kept up with my dairy-free cream cheese, dairy-free sour cream, dairy-free salad dressing, but sometimes I have, I have been pulled into the cheese realm, like pizza and pasta. So yeah, it has not been easy, you guys. It has not been easy but i am continuing to buy dairy free things and recently recently i have to tell you guys the story and i am so mad that i didn't even make a video on it but i found a recipe for dairy free vegan mac and cheese now i know it may not sound appetizing i had tyrone taste it and although he wasn't too excited about it he did say that if i were to serve this to someone they probably wouldn't know that it was dairy free. And let me tell you guys something, when I made it and I tasted it, I was blown away at how much it tasted like cheese. But it does matter what brand you use when it comes to dairy free cheese because not all of them taste the same and I have been trying to figure out what tastes the same and Violife brand to me is the one that tastes like cheese the most. I buy their shredded mozzarella, their shredded cheddar, um, their American style cheese slices to put on burgers. I use their cream cheese. Um, and it's, to me, it tastes just like cheese. And when I put everything together, you guys, I'm like, I can finally have mac and cheese again. So I've been really on this kick. I'm on Pinterest a lot. And there are so many recipes on there. Um, but I'm trying to now figure out and play around with different recipes of things that I like. Like I love Alfredo. I love mac and cheese. I love cakes and cookies. Although that's another thing, you guys. So I am on this wave where I am going to be completely cutting all sugars, no cookies, no candies, um, no cakes, all just I need to complete like I am I it's been hard and I have been mentally preparing myself for this and every day I'm doing every day I'm making better decisions so like for example this morning I made myself some oatmeal but instead of putting sugar in it I added honey so even though it's still a sweetener I'm still kind of figuring out how to easily cut my sugar off I also I started buying like vegan muffins gluten free you know cookie mix and cake and things like that but that stuff still has a lot of sugar on it and with me and my thyroid health I already told you guys I'm trying to have some babies so it is super duper important for me to really 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 buckle down and really discipline myself and as hard as it is I can't stress it enough that you know, I have to hold myself accountable every single day. And the more I feel guilty about something that I ate, the more, the, the easier it becomes for me to be like, okay, you know what? I know how I felt the last time that I had this and I don't want to feel that way again. So let me just not do it. You know, even with chocolate, whether it's dairy free, vegan, it still has sugar in it. You know, I'm not diabetic or anything like that, but for my thyroid health, I need to make a lot of better decisions. So I'm trying to replace those sugary, you know, wants for fruit, which a lot of fruit also is high in sugar, but I'd rather have that than regular sugar. Um, so currently the sugar that I'm using now is organic cane sugar, but it's still sugar. Um, I'm at a point where now if I'm having coffee, I don't put sugar in it. It's not the best tasting thing, but I'm starting to get used to it. And that's another thing that I'm doing. I'm also cutting back on caffeine. So the best way that I think I'm going to try to come off 
of coffee is to eliminate one day a week. So let's say this week, um, I'll if I have to have coffee, you know, I'll have it and then like one day Saturday, I won't have it. Next week, I won't have it Friday or Saturday. The following week, I won't have it Thursday, Friday or Saturday until I get to a point where I'm not having coffee at all. Um, because that's another thing. Caffeine, I know, is very, de it, it dehydrates you. Um, it's very addictive and it brings you up and down like that. It doesn't help you at all. Um, I can't, I'm not going to sit there and say I'm a coffee addict. I only have one cup a day. I know people who have three, four cups a day and they're like more than eight ounces, which is ridiculous to me. Like my anxiety would be through the roof after the first cup. Um, but yeah, so I'm making a lot better decisions. So even the creamer that I use for my coffee is dairy free. Um, you know, it's almond milk or coconut milk. Um, but still, some of the creamers also have sugar in it. So I'm really trying to figure out how to make sure that I completely come off of dairy um, and I'm watching my sugar intake. I'm not um, indulging in any more um, cakes, cookies, sweets, things like that um, because I'm not getting any younger. Um, and time flies and it waits for no one so I want to make sure that I'm doing the best that I can for myself and my health now like starting now like I can no longer wait anymore so it's very important for me to um, make sure that I make these adjustments and will I fail of course I will because everything it, it's not gonna change overnight you know but every day I'm making better better decisions until it becomes a good habit um, so yeah so Last time I had cheese was yesterday. <sighs> I'm so bad. It's hard. It's really, really hard. And that's another thing. Cheese is just as addictive as caffeine and drugs. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to really buckle down on that. I mean, to the point where if I don't have cheese, it doesn't bother me. I don't care. Um, but there are a lot of good recipes, dairy-free recipes out there that I'm sure are absolutely delicious. So my next project is going to be making alfredo dairy free alfredo sauce so the next time when i make it i'll be sure to make a video and show you guys and maybe have tyrone taste test it to see if he likes it sometimes he just sticks to what he knows but you know we'll see but if you enjoyed this video leave a comment below let me know what you guys think even if you haven't done so please subscribe to my channel hit like share go follow me on instagram pretty green eyes and as always, I will see you guys later. Have a great day.